There are certain things we will talk about from now on only in places of power. I have brought you here because this is your final trial. This is a place of power, and here we can talk only about power. I really don't know what power is. Power is something a warrior deals with. At first, it's an incredible, far-fetched affair. It's even hard to think about. This is what's happening to you now. Then, power becomes a serious matter. One may not have it, or one may not even fully realize that it exists. Yet one knows something is there. Something which is not noticeable before. Next, power is manifested as something uncontrollable that comes to oneself. It is not possible for me to say how it comes or what it really is. It is nothing, and yet it makes marvels appear before your very eyes. And finally, power is something with inside oneself. Something that controls one's acts, and yet obeys one's command. There was a short pause. Don Juan asked me if I'd understood. I felt ludicrous in saying I did. He seemed to have noticed my dismay and chuckled. I'm going to teach you right here the first step to power. I'm going to teach you how to set up dreaming. He looked at me again and asked if I knew what he meant. I did not. I was hardly following him at all. He explained that to set up dreaming meant to have a concise and pragmatic control over the general situation of a dream, compatible to one has control over any other choice in the desert, such as climbing up a hill, or remaining in the shade, or in a water canyon. You must start by doing something very simple. Tonight, in your dreams, you must look at your hands. I laughed out loud. His tone was so factual, it was as if he was telling me to do something commonplace. Why do you laugh? How can I look at my hands in my dreams? Very simple. Focus your eyes on them, just like this. He bent his head forward and stared at his hands with his mouth wide open. His gesture was so comical, I had to laugh. Seriously, how can you expect me to do that? The way I've told you. You can, of course, look at whatever you goddamn please. Your toes, your belly, or your pecker for that matter. I said your hands because that was the easiest thing for me to look at. Don't think it's a joke. Dreaming is as serious as seeing, or dying, or any other thing in this awesome, mysterious world. Think about it as something entertaining. Imagine all the inconceivable things you can accomplish. A man hunting for power has almost no limits in his dreaming. I asked him for some pointers. There are no pointers. Just look at your hands. There must be more you can tell me, I insisted. He shook his head and squinted his eyes, staring at me in short glances. Every one of us is different. What you call pointers would only be what I myself did when I was learning. We are not the same. We're not even vaguely alike. Maybe anything you could say would help me. It would be simpler for you just to start looking at your hands.